All right, guys. We're about to get some weather, hopefully. My garden is definitely needing it. I was gonna go out there and show you how it looks um, because after it rains, oh, it looks so wonderful. Like all the, the plants are like so excited because right now they looking droopy, but we are supposed to be getting some major storm weather in. Hopefully it won't be too bad and tear up my plants, but I'm hoping some heavy rainstorms would be nice. Would be nice. Mr. Domino is coming to monitor with me. And uh, let me just show you a little what's going on at the garden. Things are growing. Um, they are definitely growing. Uh, there's my okra, my basil, you know, the stuff. These are growing up. I'm going to have to trellis them very soon. My flowers, I have zinnias and uh, some other kind of butterfly flowers supposed to come up. So I'm glad about that. I'll take y'all inside. Move this. Uh -uh. And kind of show you because after, like I said, after it rains, oh my goodness, my garden just jumps for joy. Now, you can see where I cleaned a lot of those mustard greens out and they're already growing back. That is again an okra right there. Here are my potatoes. I don't know what that is. Squash, zucchini, something. Uh, pineapples. Look. Yes, this is my watermelon. I think I have three or four plants in there. And I already um, pollinated, self-pollinated two of the watermelons that are female. And um, right here is another watermelon. My corn, guys. Let me show y'all that what I seen today. Look at that. That is a tassel. Look at that. That is so amazing to see um, that my corn may actually do something. I did lose a couple ears, uh, you know, a couple corns. They didn't make it. My um, California Wonder Green peppers, as you can see, I got a lot of them coming up. And let me get y'all over here. See my jalapenos are all in there too. I'm just waiting for them to get bigger. Then I'll pull them. Basil getting bigger. And okra in the middle. These okra were um, in March. I planted them. And um, let me show you over here. Look at my broccoli. Now, I don't have any like broccoli stuff inside there. Not that I see. But look how tall it has gotten. I did order my shade cloths, which did come in today to protect them. Because I at least want, uh, you know, uh, one thing of broccoli, <laughs> at least one set. I have my cucumber over here. They are looking very dreary. They're, they're waiting for water. When they get it, they'll be good. My grapevine is waiting for water as well as my cabbage and my uh, Brussels sprouts. It's three in this container. All of this is doing well. These are my tomatillos. As you can see, many flowers. Over here at this second, they have a lot of many flowers as well. So I've been kind of, ooh, nice cold breeze coming through. Oh, that's nice. I hope it give me some good, good weather for my crop. But, uh, oh gosh, this feels good. It feels like a fall day. Ooh, okay, let's just enjoy that. We have been in the high 80s. You feel that coolness? Oh yeah. No, we don't want no tornadoes. Uh. Is it coming from the north? It's coming from the north, y'all. 
Ooh, I don't want no tornadoes. No, no. I just, I just wanted some rain. Can y'all just give God just give us a little pour down, really heavy, saturated rain without tornadoes that's gonna be whipping my cages and knocking stuff over. I probably need to put them on the ground. I'm gonna do that. Anything with cages. These are blocked in by these bricks here. But yeah. I think I'm gonna go over to the second garden and put these cages on the ground. Alright, we're back. So I kind of put the stuff that may blow over in this corner. I think the watermelon will be okay. Um, have my potatoes there. Everything else cleared out in this walkway. I have stuff over here. Put my tomatillos down. But all these flowers won't get blown off. And it has the uh, cages is on. So I don't want the cages to be uh, blowing off. And I'm going to close this gate up. So I think it'll be okay in there. That's the thing about when you have a garden. You just, of course you want the rain. You don't want the storm. <laughs> so, let's put that in there. There we go. I think we got them all secure pretty much secure in there we're getting ready for this weather i need to go charge this camera <laughs> in case i gotta come in here in the night and try to save anything but hopefully everything will be good and i'll bring y'all back tomorrow after the storm <laughs> 